Good morning, today's lesson is 3.7. Problem solving, multiply two digit numbers. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy, draw a diagram to solve multi-step multiplication problems? Let's unlock the problem. During 2010, great backyard bird count, an average of 42 bald eagles were counted in each of the 20 locations throughout Alaska. In 2009, an average of 32 bald eagles were counted in each of 26 locations throughout Alaska. Based on this data, how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than 2009, right? So how many more is going to be what I'm going to put in there. Next. What information do I need to use? Well, in 2010, there were 20 locations that they counted, and they counted an average of 42 bald eagles, if you go back in the story. And then in 2009, they had 26 locations over, an, and they counted an average of 32 bald eagles. So how am I going to use this information? So I can solve simpler problems. So first, if I find the number of bald eagles counted in 2010, right? And then I could find the number of bald eagles that were counted in 2009. And then I can draw a bar to compare the 2010 and the count in the 2009. Okay, so in order to do that, so first I'm gonna find the total number of bald eagles that were counted in 2010. So there were 42 of them in 20 locations, right? So 42 times 20. So I've got 42 times 20. Well, essentially I could do, that's two tens times 42, right? So I could put my zero there for my two tens, and now I could do the two times two, which is four, and two times four, which is eight. So I'm gonna get 840 bald eagles were counted in the 2010. So next we're gonna find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2009. So in 2009, there were 26 location with 32 bald eagles. So we're gonna do 32 bald eagles with 26 locations. So we have 32 times 26. So you could do this a couple ways. I know a lot of you like to break it like this, and I know you like to say 32, 26. You can do that, or you can do it by, um, by um, regrouping. So I'm gonna do it by regrouping, because I know we need practice with that. So first I'm gonna do my ones, and one time, or six, in my ones position is six, so six times two is 12. Regroup my one. Six times three is 18, with my one is 19. Now I'm done with my ones position, so I'm actually gonna cross it out. Now this is really two tens, so I'm gonna put my zero there because it's really 20 and not two. I'm saying two, but it's really 20. So two times two is four. Let me raise this up here. And then two times three is six. So I get, two, and then I add them together, two, nine, 10, that's 13. Six and one is seven and eight. So I get 832 bald eagles counted in 2009. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my bar model. So in 2010, I had 840, and in 2009, I had 832. So we need to find out what the difference is. So if I take the 840 from 2010, and I subtract the 832. I can't take zero from two, so I'm gonna have to regroup. So I'm gonna take 110, I'm gonna move it over here. So now I have 10 minus two is eight, three minus three is zero, eight minus three is zero. So the answer is, in here is eight. So 840 minus 832 is eight. So there were eight more bald eagles in 2010 than in 2009. So let's try another problem. Prescott Valley, Arizona reported a total of 29 morning doves in the Great Backyard Bird Count. Mesa, Arizona reported 20 times as many morning doves as the Prescott Valley. If Chandler reported a total of 760 morning doves, how many morning doves were reported in the Chandler than in the Mesa? So what do I need to find? Well, I need to find how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa. Okay, so... Next, it says, what information do I need to use? Well, 
I need to know the total of morning doves reported in the great yard, which is 29, and then it's reported that it's 20 times more than that in the Prescott Valley. Valley. So I need both of those things. Let's circle those. So Prescott reported 29 doves, Messick reported 20 times what Prescott had, and then Chandler reported 760 doves. So how am I going to use this information? Well, so I can solve simpler problems. So like first I can find the number of doves in Mesa, and then I can draw a, a bar graph to compare. So let's do that. So to find the number in Mesa, it's 20 times as many as Prescott. Well, if Prescott had 29, then 20 times 29 will give me how many um, there were in Mesa. So this is, I'm gonna put my zero here because this is really two tens. So I'm gonna move over to my tens position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 20 times the 29. So I could do two times nine is 18. Two times two is four plus one is five. So in Mesa, we had 580. And then we know that, um, and we wanna find how many more um, doves there were than in Chandler. Well, in Chandler, we had 760. So Chandler, we had 760. So if we draw a bar graph, so here's my 760 in Chandler, and here's my 580 in Mesa, we need to find the difference, which is right here. So if I take the 760 and I subtract the 580, zero from zero is zero. I can't take six from eight. So I'm gonna to need to regroup, take one of my 100s and put it over here. So now I have 16 minus eight, which is eight, and then I have six minus five, which is one. So in this blank, it should be 180. So there's 180 more doves in um, Chandler than in Mesa. So share and show. An average of 74 reports with bird counts were turned in each day in June. An average of 89 were turned in each day in July. How many reports were turned in for both months? Hint, there are 30 days in June and 31 days in July. So let's look at this. So first let's write the problem for June. Well in June there are 30 days and in June they had 74 reports. So 74 times the 30 days will give me my June. And then for my July, remember July has 31 days. So, and there's an average of 89. So if I do 89 times 31, I will get my July. So once I solve how many are in June and I solve how, whoops, so how, solve how many are in July, then I can add them together and I can get the total, right? So let's go ahead and work this out. Okay, so we've got 74 times 30. So again, um, this is three tens, right? So if I just put my zero there, because we know it's by 30, and I focus on multiplying three tens times four ones, right? That's 12. So I'm gonna regroup my one for um, three times seven is 21, plus my one is 22. So for June, I'm going to get 2,220. And then for July, I've got 89 times 31. So this one's not quite as easy because I don't have my 1 here. So first, I'm going to multiply my 1's position times my 89. So 9 times 1 is 9. Um, 8 times 1 is 8. Now I'm going to do, I'm done with my 1's. Now I'm doing my 10's. Because I'm doing my 10's, I'm going to put my 0 here just like I did there. So now I have three or three tens times the nine, which is 27. I'm gonna regroup my two. Three times eight is 24, plus my two is 26. Make sure you're lining everything up. Now I'm gonna add my two partial products. So I've got nine plus zero is nine. Seven plus eight is 15. Regroup my one. Six plus one is seven, and then two is there. So now I have 2,759. And now I'm gonna add both of these products together to find out how much it was in both months. So I've got 2,220 plus 2,759. And when I add those together, I get 9794. So I should get 4,979 reports that were turned in then.
Okay, so what I'm going to actually have you do today is something kind of different. I'm going to be giving you a few problems on Flipgrid instead of doing the rest of the page. So I'm going to have you work as table groups. You're going to solve the problem that I give your table group, and you're going to report your answer on Flipgrid. All right, good luck, and if you need me, I'll be walking around. Thanks.